Hey guys, so I'm here with Eric Chen, Head of Growth at Startpad, and we are going to talk about four different methods for marketing your Kickstarter launch. So the first one we're gonna talk about is PR. PR is actually a very key component for your Kickstarter campaign. And the reason being is because the social validation of having something to say like, you know, Forbes on your campaign or TechCrunch or Associated Press talking about or giving you a quote for your campaign gives that social validation for your campaign already. And so that's really important. PR in itself isn't going to give you a, like a direct correlation. It has the possibility to blow up your campaign, but you also have to, you know, really figure out your investment into the into PR and what you're trying to get out of it. If it's someone who wants to launch a product doesn't really have too much money, would you recommend them going to these different sites and trying to reach out to these people and get press around it? Or do you recommend getting more money and then investing in a PR firm? For most people, if they're launching a Kickstarter campaign and you're running it by yourself where it's a very small team, you're trying to save money, you just have to really decide, do you have the time and bandwidth to be reaching out to all of these publication sites, right? Now you have to imagine a lot of these companies, you know, get inquiries all the time. Look at my product, check out my product, feature my product, right? And so you're just, you know, one person out of thousands of emails that they get every single day. And so for you to go out there, you know, go and source all these emails and, you know, blast them and figure out where you should be reaching out to, that takes a lot, a lot of time. And so something that people don't realize is that PR firms exist for a reason. And you know, most people can claim that they do PR, but they're doing that exact same thing. They're the ones just emailing for you, trying to contact and reach out to these media sites. Um, but the really good ones and the reason why they exist is because they've been in the business for a long time. They have a close relationship with these media sites. And so that's really what you're paying for. You're, you're paying for the time saved and the connections that they already have. So you want to make sure, you know, when you do talk to these PR firms that the, they are very confident that they can get you in mm -hmm. because maybe, you know, the person working at TechCrunch was their, you know, college roommate or something, right? And they have a very close relationship. You know, otherwise, um, they'll just be doing standard reach out, which you could then evaluate, is it worth, you know, your time based on how much they quote you? I mean, it ranges, right? You can go for PR firms that will charge you $500 a month or $10,000 a month. It just really, really depends on like, you know, your appetite for the risk or even knowing what you're trying to get out of it. Okay. Next, we want to talk about SEO. So I am curious if SEO matters with Kickstarter. Are people actually um, searching within Kickstarter for campaigns or are they coming externally through, I don't know, links and stuff like that? So does it really matter to try to rank for different keywords? I would say that there won't be too much people looking for very specific projects on Kickstarter, but they might discover your your project yeah. um, through that. But what you want to be able to do or make sure is that you're driving traffic to your Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. through external traffic, maybe like Facebook ads okay. uh, for it. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I wanted to talk more about Facebook ads. And I remember you had told me before that the time frame that you kind of like launch and then get those conversions um, or backers. It actually matters a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little more? Bit more? Yeah. So you know, if you are going to launch a campaign, it is really important to try to achieve your goal as soon as possible, and it's usually done within 24 to 48 hours. Okay. And a lot of um, I guess like perks that you can get from Kickstarter themselves is you being able to achieve that goal as quick as possible because okay. they'll look and track what your velocity is. And, mm -hmm. and you know, if you're able to hit $100,000 on a 10% goal and you're 1000% mm -hmm. of achieving that, right? Mm -hmm. And so what you want to do is get that as soon as possible within 24 to 48 hours, right? Mm -hmm. Because Kickstarter will then, you know, put you up on their own landing page of, you know, trending projects or campaigns mm -hmm. on their own site. Yeah. And so that's extra free traffic that you can get if you can achieve that. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's really cool is that you can actually take that momentum mm -hmm. and run ads and talk about, you know, see why this project got funded in, you know, 24 hours mm -hmm. or was able to achieve, you know, 542% within 48 hours or something yeah. like that, right? Mm -hmm. And that gives a lot of 
um, people looking at these ads some curiosity into like, well, well, yeah, what is this that people are, you know, super excited about, yeah. right? Because no one really wants to be that the first person to the party. I Meaning that no one wants to be yeah. that person backing up a non-backed product, yeah. right? So the most important thing is like, if people come and see that there's a project already backed or already fulfilled, they don't want to miss out, mm -hmm. right? Because the incentives that you get from, you know, risking your money to back a project um, usually is going to be the best deal that you can get. Usually companies and people who run Kickstarter, you should be incentivizing your consumers uh, like 40% off for your product too. Okay. And that this is a deal that no one, you, no one else can get once your product gets out to market. Okay, right? so in the Facebook ad, you would talk about the success of a campaign as mm -hmm. well as you give them a discount or is that happening in the Facebook ad? Or? Uh, I mean, in Kickstarter, it'll already have like the packages that uh, or perks that you're already offering, which could be a heavily discounted um, thing. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. So you could you could structure it in a way where you know only the first 50 people get it for like 60% off, mm -hmm. the next 100 people get it for 50% off. Yeah. So then that way, when the first people you know who are you know the trendsetters, they go and they go buy it. So by the time the third round of people go in for their 50 or 40% off, there's already people who've already backed it up by thousands of dollars. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. And then it sounds like the SEO strategy basically is using other marketing methods to get um, the amount of backers you need within a specific time frame. So then you can rank really high in Kickstarter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is kind of more bootstrapping methods where if you don't have any money, like what's the best way to start mm -hmm. ranking? Um, I mean, if, if you're going to Kickstarter, I mean, and this is the reason why Kickstarter exists, right? It's for people who are trying to launch an idea or a product or project um, without money, right? And they're looking to the community or people within the same interest to help fund that project. If you don't have that money, something that a lot of people or, you know, this person who's trying to launch this campaign, you know, might be too scared to do is actually reach out to all of your contacts people that you have not talked to in years and years, right? So for instance, if I have uh, my Facebook, um, I have about, say, I don't know, 20, 2,200 connections, right? And if I'm launching my own Kickstarter campaign, I will message all 2,200 people on my Facebook, right? Because if you just make a public post, hey guys, I launched a you know, Kickstarter campaign, you know, based on Facebook's algorithm, maybe only 300 people will see that post out of the 2,200, mm -hmm. right? And so what you want to do is, you know, if you have a small team, maybe it's you, me, and two other people, and all, each of us has 500 to 1,000 connections, everyone should be on board to basically harass their friends, right? Mm -hmm. Reach out to the, the random person that you became friends with on Facebook and just say, you know, let them know that, even before you launch, that you are launching a campaign to kind of warm them up, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you could respark some conversation with these people, they might find it interesting, they may be able to share it with, your, with their friends and their connections too. Mm -hmm. And then on the day of launch, literally, you know, the night before, the day of, it's, hey guys, you know, we launched our, our campaign, mm -hmm. check it out, here it is. And just drive as much traffic as possible. Mm -hmm. And then tell them, really, you have to give them a call to action, tell mm -hmm. them to share with their friends, or please send it to someone you think might be interested in my product. Okay. and reach out to all 2,200 people, yeah. right? And that's, it could be scary because mm -hmm. you're, you're reaching out to people that you haven't talked to in years, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to come off as like a multi-level marketing schemer. It's like, hey, let's catch up and get, you know, have coffee or lunch. And then all of a sudden they're trying to, you know, sell you on selling knives or something, right? Um, but no, it's it's a product that, you know, if you're going to be launching a Kickstarter campaign, it's something you should be proud of. So mm -hmm. you shouldn't feel ashamed to be reaching out to everybody. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, those are great tips because I've never personally launched anything on Kickstarter, but yeah, this helped me a lot. I um, hope this helped you guys as well. So that was a video on four tips for launching your Kickstarter launch. Good luck. <laughs>